Okay, so I made all the arrangements. Uh, my jet is prepped and waiting for you. A car will pick you up at, at De Gaulle and take you to the Institute. I also, I, I leased a, a house for you so you don't have to, so you don't have to live at the clinic and I'll make sure that you, that you get the, the address when you get there. Thank you, Nicholas. Oh, you're welcome. You are such a good son. Yeah, well, <laughs> I don't know, I guess I, I guess I kind of feel like I have to, I have to overcompensate for you. I, I, I just, I want you to know that, that I'm, I'm really grateful for the time that we were able to spend together, however, however short it was. And, yeah, and uh, it's just, it is great, it is, to see you awake and, and beautiful. I mean, you look... You look beautiful Thank and you. you're welcome and and you're so full of life and it's i guess it's kind of restored my faith and in, in in miracles and and fate and all the iffy things like that i guess mm -hmm. yeah you still miss emily honey yeah i, sh I sure do i do and you know, Mom, I'm really, I'm really trying to get past that. I really am. And just dive back into the world, you know, and move on with things. It's just, it's just not my first inclination to do that. I understand. Yeah. But you're on the right path. You really are. And there is only one cure for this kind of grief. The passage of time <laughs> and living your life you know yeah it sounds so simple i know but it does take an awful lot of courage ah so says the woman who taught me everything i know about that